Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Chris here again, and uh, just here in my little modest uh, wine cellar that I have here. Uh, um, what I'm thinking about doing is completely reorganizing this thing again. It's gotten a little out of hand. Um, uh, yeah, there's stuff that's kind of all over the place that I really don't like how it's uh, um, kind of everywhere, you know, like I've got you know sparkling wine here with some French wine. Um, you know, other wines down there with champagne and sparkling wine, uh, you know, reds and whites kind of all together, which is fine if you're doing by region, which I was at the time. Um, you know, I've even got some really uh, rare beer up here. Yeah, it's in uh, uh, champagne casks here with the wine, which is, which is fine. I'll probably keep it like that anyway. But, um, you know, then I've got like Benjamin Bridge here, the sparkling wine that's kind of all over the place. There's no Benjamin Bridge up here, you know, but it's kind of everywhere, you know, and uh, um, and then some of it's down here, some of it's over there. So um, I like to keep everything organized, but um, yeah, it's just gotten so crazy busy. And, uh, you know, we're going cycling through wine uh, so quickly. I wouldn't say quickly, but um, it's just, instead of like, I think I need either more space or less wine or just a better um, way to organize this thing. So, uh, what I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to take all of this wine out, um, organize it into, you know, regions and, um, and, uh, and then, you know, types. Because I like to keep sparkling and sh wine and champagne all together because that's just an easy go-to. Same with the ice wine and uh, late harvest uh, wines. You know, like there's late harvest wine here, you know, with, uh, um, you know, Zinvendel. And uh, and there's another bottle of Zinvendel here, but all my Zinvendel is usually up here underneath my Cab Sav. Then I've got a Canadian uh, semi-sweet wine here. Um, so, yeah, it's gotten just, it's gotten out of hand. I can come in here. Um, you know, used to be able to come in, pick out whatever, um, I wanted because I knew where it was and, and now I don't know where anything is. And, uh, so things have got to be redone, I think. And, uh, I've got to update my, uh, my wine cellar list, uh, so that's a lot more organized and I know exactly what I have and where it is in, in this little cellar here. So, uh, I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, that'll be the one of the next uh, videos that we do together uh i'm gonna you know we're gonna just start taking everything out um and then i'll photograph every bottle and uh and then put it into um like uh some sort of a uh a catalog or whatever so that i have it and i can identify it and um and uh and then yeah so i think that's what the next plan is here so in the next uh, next couple weeks uh, that's what we'll be doing together. Uh, we're gonna go through and pull out every bottle that we have here, and uh, and I, I've got wine over in my uh, my um, Scotch cellar as well, but that's okay because they're screw caps, you know, so uh, they don't have to be technically laid on its side. So um, I can do that with some of these with uh, with the newer bottles that are coming in from corks too. So I can. I can certainly do that you know and I've got wine sitting up on top like this you know and you know a bunch of wine sitting up here too so um, and that's fine it's not going anywhere but um, yeah it's it, it definitely needs to be uh, rebalanced and, and, and organized here so um, yeah so you'll be able to see what I've got and uh, and then maybe we can uh, review some of these wines together and uh, and go through them, you know, nothing crazy expensive in here. Like I, I know there's, I got friends of mine that, that have wine cellars as well, way, way, way bigger than mine. And, you know, they're spending, you know, anywhere between, you know, 80 to, you know, three or $4,000 a bottle, which is completely ridiculous. There's no way in heck I would ever do that. Um, I, I mean, that's just nuts. Uh, I drink it to, to enjoy it. I don't drink it to collect it. Um, you know, although there's probably some bottles in here, well, I know there are some bottles in here that have gone up in value, so, um, might flip those maybe, I'm not sure, um, and, but probably just in, probably just enjoy them, so, um, 
But anyway, uh, that is the next plan, I think, in this, uh, this cellar here. And um, let me know what you think and uh, maybe what you would do in, in, in the cellar and how you would organize it. So I'm always up for ideas. So um, I really appreciate it, everyone. Please like and subscribe. I truly, truly, truly appreciate that a lot. Sure helps the channel out. And um, we'll talk to you real soon. Thanks again. Bye-bye.